Another week, another Brad Lynch leak. This guy is savage. So look, if computer edit designs get you and maybe leaked info gets you woo, then continue watching the video. Well, Meta Connect came and finished and nothing was mentioned about the Quest 3. God damn it! But, can see your Brad Lynch, aka the modern day fucking guy, folks. He released us his CAD design. The battery looks like it'd be once again at the front, which means more of a front heavy device upon thy poor forehead. But the shove is said to be more stable to provide better support. So hopefully that helps compensate. It's a baffling decision as if you use the Pico 4, for example, they have the battery pack at the back, which creates a much more lighter weight experience. According to the CAD blueprint, the USB-C port and the headphone jack are integrated into the head mount brown, which means any Quest 2 straps you have, yeah, just bin them. And there's also suggestions that will have its own charging station due to the three contacts at the bottom of the case, which Lynn speculated it could be compatible with the Quest Pro. Are Meta trying to take over your house with different versions of Quest that can connect to each device so Mark can spy on you? Probably. With the continual push on a lighter VR device, the Meta Quest 3 will also use pancake lenses, which has already been adopted by other VR companies and devices, such as the Pico 4, which I did a video on that by the way, you can see the link here. It was quite interesting and controversial a little bit. Check it out anyway. So tech-wise, what is under the body of the Quest 3? Like the Quest 2, there will be four cameras which consist of the two black and white cameras for the pass-through mode, but these will be an upgraded version for our software, which is speculated to be on the same level as the Pro, and there'll be two RGB cameras and a depth sensor. This is why Lynch has described the Quest 3 as a mixed reality product. Unlike the Quest 2, which had a singular LC display, the Quest 3 will have two LC displays, allowing you to adjust distances via a dial. However, unfortunately, sadly, etc., is that there seems to be no sensors for iron face tracking. With Lynch saying it will simply be too expensive to include this, as it will need five more cameras like the Pro and a much more expensive chip. With the Quest 3 set to be around $400, I just don't know why Meta did not release a slightly more expensive version with this included. But what the f is <laughs> random? I'm just a random YouTube guy making videos at his mum's basement in East London. That is all not true. I've got light here. How would I have light in the basement? That better not stick. And if you like what you're hearing so far, you know what to do, hit that like button. And if you actually like this really a lot, then hit that subscribe button also. If you need some motivation, then here it is. Anyway, speaking about the brains behind the Quest 3, and I don't mean by Mark, I mean the actual chip itself. The Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 chip is a chip being used and it is an upgrade on the Gen 1 used on the Quest 2. Lynch has said this new SOC is very impressive for what he has heard with increased cooling which should boost the processing power. This was leaked before under the name Project Halliday, which must be some sort of reference to Ready Player One, but either way, it's meant to be a big leap of performance. There even being suggestions the Quest 3 could be twice as powerful as the Pico 4. And then we have the storage, which according to Lynch could be released with up to 512 gigabytes of storage and 12 gigabytes gigabytes of RAM. And in regards to the release date, Lynch thinks the Quest is going to be released at some point in 2023, however we're not quite sure on a set date just yet. Whilst there is still no info about the price tag, we hope it's going to be between the Quest 2's price at $499 and the Quest Pro's $1500, well it better be. So that's what we know so far about the Quest 3, I'm sure Lynch is already hacking away or sending out his spies to retrieve more information. There does seem to be an improvement, but the battery at the front does still confuse me and also no facial and eye tracking is also weird considering Zucky Boy was also saying how important it was for the future of the Quest 3. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm interested to see how Meta are going to respond because we had a period of time where there was no VR devices pretty much coming out and now we're getting an influx of them like bang, 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 bang. So what are they gonna do about it? Are they gonna crumble? Are they gonna rise to the plate, to the table? Who rises to a plate? Unless you're really hungry. What do you guys think? Are you excited for the Quest 3? Have you got concerns? Are you going to wait for the Quest 3 or are you going to maybe jump onto something else like the Pico 4 or the new PlayStation 5's VR 2? Let me know below in the comments. Anyway, that's me done talking. If you found that interesting, would really appreciate a little like. And if you really want to and you're feeling brave, you can also subscribe if you want. I mean, YOLO, right? Etc. Etc. Yo. If I heard that, I would subscribe. Whatever. Do what you want. <laughs>